So today I'm going to be talking about the truth about making money on Spotify. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stein and today I'm talking about the truth about making money on Spotify. So let me just go ahead and, and, and give you the thesis, the punchline of uh, this presentation, this video. Uh, I got a, uh, an email with an article about how the streaming world has changed from going from the top 100, you know, the Billboard 100, to the top 43,000. That's right, you heard that correctly. The top 43,000 on Spotify. So, basically what this article was saying is that f the top 43,000 artists on Spotify make 90% of the money. So, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a very shocking number. So, what I wanted to do is uh, go through some information that I started to dig up. Uh, I found three particular articles which I will put in the description in order for you to access and read those for your own, uh, you know, your own knowledge, your own uh, education. Um, very, very insightful article, articles. It took me a little while to find uh, the, the data that I was looking for, but I made a spreadsheet or a document, actually, um, basically summing up the information that I found in, uh, in, in, in and it's a lot of math and it, it may be boring to some of you, but I wanted to show you this sheet because it explains really the truth about making money as an artist on Spotify. Now, I know that in order to be a successful or a sustaining artist, meaning that, you know, you can make money, uh, and maybe even quit your job, uh, off your music, that streaming's a big deal these days. Streaming is huge. Uh, but there is kind of a maybe misconception or a fantasy that's being put around on the internet. And uh, I've had a lot of interaction with people over the, the last few years about this. They're, they're very, very optimistic. And, and, and optimistic's a good thing. Optimism's a good thing. But there is a level of naivete, uh, being naive. And uh, I just wanted to break through that uh, because I think it's really, really important for us to know the truth and to not be uh, overconfident in something that that can't sustain that confidence or was never meant to be true. Uh, and, or maybe it's just something that we need to debunk. So today, let's get into it. Um, but before we before we look at the sheet, I just wanted to say this. In terms of Spotify, there's 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 plenty of artists I'm sure that make money from touring or they, or they play shows uh, around their local area, maybe around their city, maybe they play the bar scene, maybe they play weddings, whatever it is. That may not be huge on Spotify. So Spotify isn't the end all be all in in making money. I'm not trying to say that at all. There's plenty of people that make the, the majority of their money on music by touring and by merchandise. So please, please hear me. I'm not saying that, that Spotify is the only way to make money. But what I am saying is that the, the payout of who makes money on Spotify is drastically disproportionate. If you, look, if you think inequality is or, or you know financial inequality in the US or in other major world countries where you have like the the top 10% own you know the majority of of what the bottom 40% own Spotify's a hundred times worse than that and so let's get into the document and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about all right so here is the pages document that I made uh, to to present this information. Uh, first of all, I just there's some preliminary stuff that I just want to say uh, about Spotify um, that I didn't know before. Daniel Eck, uh, it, he confirmed recently that the number of creators that are engaging directly with Spotify's platform continues to increase, growing to over 3.9 million in the first three months of 2019. So we can suspect that this number's higher than 3.9 million now that we're almost finished with 2020. Uh, he says in, in this article that 40,000 new songs are added to the platform every day. 
people talk about why there needs to be marketing, why uh, individual artists need to stand out among the crowd. That's for this reason. There's 40,000 new songs added a day. So any given day that you release music, you have competition. A significant amount of songs being released. Spotify currently lists over 50 million songs as well as 700,000 podcast titles. So if there are 3.9 million artists and 50,000 songs, that's an average of 12.82 songs per artist, which is roughly the size of an album. But we know that some artists have hundreds of songs and probably most have one song, maybe a single. So, So in terms of these numbers, it's really, really important that we... Keep in mind that it's going to be top-heavy, right? So we're going to get into money now, but in the same way that that the average may be 12 songs per person, but really it's it's way more top-heavy than that. At the top, the artists that have the most songs are going to have a significantly higher number of songs than the people at the bottom. So there's probably the majority of artists probably only have maybe one or two songs, and and the artists that are at the top, probably have hundreds. Okay, so let's get into the money because it's the exact same top-heavy picture. All right, so according to this particular uh, article that I found on Disc Maker's blog, it says Spotify had about $4.9 billion in revenue last year, but almost $1.5 billion in net losses. So... Spotify has a problem at this point um, in terms of their overhead, which I'm guessing, I mean, they've made revenue, which is coming from streams and and advertising and deals with record labels. Uh, But $1.5 billion in net losses is probably uh, write-offs of expenses like overhead, office space, employees, and whatnot. This is not uh, abnormal for tech companies. Okay, so... 90%, the same article, says that 90% of streams on Spotify are only by the top 43,000 artists. Okay? So, out of the 3.9 million artists that are engaging directly with Spotify's platform, that's Spotify for Artists, the back end of Spotify, only 43,000 of those 3.9 3.9 million artists are making 90% of the streams. Okay, so this so the next part of this this document that I put together is just breaking down the structure, the pay structure of what that looks like. And I know this looks kind of intimidating, it's a lot of numbers, but it'll make sense. If it doesn't make sense the first time, just just go through it slowly again. Uh, You can always rewind this, but let's just break this down because this is a huge statement if this is true, Um, and I think it is. So the 43, the top 43,000 artists out of the total 3.9 million artists that are on Spotify is essentially 1.1% of artists. 1.1% 1.1% or 43 the top 43,000 artists make 90% of the money, which means that the rest, if we subtract this number from the total number, we get the remaining number of artists here. If we if we divide the the remaining artists by the total number, we get 9 obviously, if we subtract 1.1 from 100, it's 98.9%. So 98% Almost 99% of artists on Spotify earn 10% of the money that's generated by Spotify. Okay, so we have $4.9 billion in revenue from Spotify. Some of that's from ads, some of that's from affiliation, uh, but it's not all from streaming, but we'll just say it is for the sake of this math problem. Okay, so the top 1% earners, or 1 per, 1.1% earners, the top 43 thousand artists who earn 90 percent of the revenue let's break this down so total revenue 4.9 billion times 90 percent is 4.4 billion roughly if we divide that by the top 43,000 artists that means that roughly 
the each artist that's in the the, for, the top forty three thousand positions makes a hundred grand roughly. Okay, six figures for the top one percent. Now, of course, again, we know that this is top heavy. We know that the the Drakes and the Rihannas and the Ed Sheerans and the the Post Malones they're not making a hundred thousand a year. They're making millions. So that means that there's a structure even within the top percent that the the, the lowest people in the, the top 43,000 spots, the, 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 the person in the, the 43,000th spot is not making 100,000. They're making much less because the people at the top are making much more. So this is an average and all those figures are top heavy. We have to remember that. The people in the top positions are making much more than the people in the lowest positions. Okay, so let's look at the bottom 98.9% because that's where most of us are in our career. And if you're watching YouTube videos on Spotify and how to how to make money and how to how to navigate the music industry, you're you're probably in the bottom 98%. So out of the 30 3.9 million artists, the 98.9% is the rest. Okay, and they earn 10% of the revenue. So, so 10% of 4.9 billion is 490 million remaining. If we take that number and we divide it by the 98% of artists, okay, the 3.8 million artists that, that are left, that are that are in the bottom 99%, that means on average that they make $127 per year. And that may may sound like a lot of money to some of you. I mean, I know my first album in 2020 made around 50 bucks from a couple hundred streams and I think a handful of people bought it, some friends and family. But that doesn't sound bad. Okay, $127 per year off my music. But again, we have to keep in mind that that is top heavy. Okay, so the lowest, the, the, the person with the least amount of streams and the least amount of listens on Spotify is making zero per year. Because out of 98%, 98.9% of Spotify users make roughly, on average, $127 per year. But that's top heavy because we know the people at the top make more. Okay, so we know the top 1% makes on average six figures. So the rest of the 97%, 98%, they don't all make the same amount. So the people at the top of that bracket are going to be making more. And obviously the people at the bottom are going to be making less. So what I want to do is I want to apply the same structure. So if the top 43,000 artists make 90% of the revenue and the bottom 98.9% make 10%, that same structure ought to be applied within the bottom uh, tier. Okay? So, so within this number, the, the bottom 98.9%, it's probably true that 10% of this number makes 90% of this number of, of streams. This number that is generated by the 98.9%. So let me let me let's break this down uh, even further because uh, if we look within the lower 98.9%, I think we'll find the same type of structure. All right? So let's let's apply the same hierarchy within the lower 98.9% because that's where most of us are. Okay? So 98.9% of artists on Spotify, that is the this number, which is generated from the 3.9 million artists minus 43,000. They generate 490 million per year. But as we know, this the, if we take an average, there, there are hierarchies and it's top heavy. So if we pl apply the same earning structure from the above uh, example to the lower 98%, Really, the top 1% of the bottom 98.9% make 90% of the revenue. Okay, so 90% of, the, of this is $441 million. 
So let's look within the 98.9% of artists. So only 1%, 1.1% of all the remaining 3.8 million artists. Okay. So this is the, the 42,000 are the top 42,000 artists in the bottom 98%. They're going to get 90% of the revenue if we apply the same math. So that means that 3.8 million artists on Spotify, or basically 97.8 of all Spotify artists, are getting 1% of all Spotify revenue. Okay? So if we said earlier that the top 43,000 artists get 90% and the bottom 3.8 million get the 10%, if we look within this number we see that 10% of 10% is 1%. Okay, so the lowest people, which is this 3.8 number, outside of the 43,000, are making about 1% of all Spotify revenue. Okay, so if we still, we're still looking in the bottom 98.9% that generated $490 million last year, which is not all streaming, but we'll... Still use the number for the sake of ease. So the top 1% of the lower earning artists, okay, so that's the, the top 42,000 out of this low tier number, which is the, the lower 98%. They made 40, $441 million divided by the artists in that top 1%. So they made roughly 10394 dollars per artist in the top 1% of the lower 98.9%. So really that's saying like the top 3% of Spotify artists made roughly $10,000. Now let's look at the bottom 98.9% of the lower earning artists. So that is the, the remaining 3.8 million artists out of the the lower artists that we said already. So 3.857100 is uh, the lower 98 and we're talk, we're looking at the lower 98% of the lower 98%, which is this number here. They earn 10% of the revenue on Spotify. So if 10% of the revenue on Spotify is 498 million times 10%. That's 49 million. 49 million divided by the number of artists that are in the lower, lower parts of the earning bracket means that they make roughly $12.84 per year. Okay, let me say that again. Out of the 300 or out of the 3.9 million users on Spotify, 3.8 million users make on average a 12 dollars and 84 cent salary and of course keeping in the same trend that is an average so that means that most people on spotify make zero money and people in the top three percent four percent make maybe 20 30 40 50 dollars Okay, let's let's just let's just recap the total Spotify numbers. Okay, so we 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 we've already decided uh, by the math that the top one percent of Spotify artists make an average of one hundred and two thousand a year. That's an average. The top, you know, one thousandth of a percent, like the top people on the Billboard artists, for example, they're making way more than that. But on average, the top one percent of Spotify artists make. Six figures. Okay, as we go down in percent, it incre it decreases exponentially. The top 2% make 10000 per year. And the rest of the 98% make $12 per year. Okay? If this doesn't make sense, go through this math because I break down the, the, the top the top 1.1% versus the 98.9%, and then I break down the 98.9% under the same structure. Now, uh, it's important to 
it's important to understand these numbers because there is a lot of people on the internet that talk about how easy it is to make money on Spotify, how if you just are consistent and dedicated and you work hard, it's going to pay off. It's going to, it's going to, you're going to, you're going to make it. And I just wanted to present these numbers to you because it should really give us, those who are making music, those who are putting out music, it should cause us to really uh, be aware of the, the reality of things. That the truth is that 99% of musicians, that's just musicians that are on Spotify, don't make any money from streaming revenue. That's not even counting the, the, the musicians that aren't even on Spotify, who, for which it's impossible to make money on Spotify if you're not even on the platforms. Only 1% of those on Spotify can make a living, an actual living in the United States of America from streaming, let alone fame, fortune, and life-changing money. So what, what are these artists doing what is the average artist doing to make money? It, it, of course, it's going to come down to touring. It's going to come down to live performances and selling merchandise and getting to know people nowadays on the internet who are fans who support you, who may you know support a Patreon or, or donate, which is probably l less likely than uh, coming to a show. But that's why, that's why artists who are working artists, they're not the people who are on the billboards that maybe just shot to fame and have a label behind them, but the average independent artist, the, 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 the working singer-songwriter, is making the majority of their money from touring and from merchandise, which is why it's so important uh, not to have false uh, notions of instant fame or you know, this internet age has got us all believing that that the people that we see that are famous, that have these unique stories, can, that, that their stories can be replicated as if it's, it's not like winning the lottery or being the first round pick in the NBA or the NFL. So making it in the streaming world, okay, this isn't just about music, the music industry. This is just about streaming. Uh, but streaming is a big part of the music industry, obviously. It's important to keep in mind that, that of these figures, that 99% of musicians do not make money from, from streaming revenue. And actually, it's a lot bigger than 99%. It's probably like 99.9%. So, um, I hope that was helpful. All right, so just to wrap up, the payout levels of Spotify are growing and growing and growing. More people are making money, uh, and it, it's great that that anybody, I guess you could say, has the opportunity, has the potential to to make money on Spotify. But as you've just seen, there is a very, very, very small uh, minority of groups of artists that are making real money. Uh, by far the majority of people, and not just the majority, but 99% or more are making next to nothing, let alone a career in, in, in music streams. So this just stresses the importance of, of touring, of merchandise, of building a fan base. Let's no longer hold on to these naive notions of grandeur that you're going to put a single up and it's going to blow up and change your life. That may happen, but you know what? It, it may also happen that you walk outside and get struck by lightning, but the chances of that happening are probably next to nothing. You can buy a lottery ticket every week for the rest of your life and you'll probably never win. Um, I don't want to be a downer about it, but it, it, it's really important that we start thinking clearly about whether uh, uh, think thinking clearly about why we make music because if it's about just getting famous if 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 it's about getting famous and blowing up and and blowing up on Spotify and and becoming a megastar there's a next to impossible chance that that's going to happen okay but what is a, is more attainable is having a, a, a building a fan base finding some places where you can play live, 
uh, finding some people online that are interested in your music that want to buy merchandise, that is way more attainable and making music for the love of it because that's, that's what an artist does. Okay. So really, I know this is kind of bad news, but uh, I really just want to break through these kind of just fake stories that people on the internet are selling us in order to make money and or for us to buy a product that's going to help us blow up or, you know, whatever that stuff is that people are doing on social media these days, buying and selling followers and whatnot. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching. Please share this. Spread the word. I hope this is helpful. And uh, as always, thank you very much. And we'll see you again next time.